Now after a few minutes you can see a little bit of the result. You see I've polished it here and still a little bit of corroding corrosion here. So I do this part then and change up to this part. Just always keep your part moving in front of the disc. Just when you go like that, you see you gotta take this part here and then change it up, go like that, and change it again, go like that, and go like that, and go like that. Always go with the with the design of your metal work. This part first because it protrudes more. This part second because it's a difficult part. Then this part in a triangle shape so it can work quicker and nicer. Then when you're done with the front end, put it on the side, this part, that part. Just work, let the machine do the work around here. That. And if you want to do this part, you can do that too. I'm only going to go for this part and the side parts. Why? Because you don't see the back parts. But if you're finicky and if you're a real, uh, well, how do you call it? Real pain in the butt actually. You're going to do that part, those parts too. The thing that I am going to do actually is this in between here with a little bit on my Dremel and just work that around here so this shines too. Okay, now after the first polish, you can see this is the first part of the of the of the polishing. Put it a little like this, uh, right that, and you can see the difference of, with this and that one. If you put it like that, see it's a little bit shinier, there's less corrosion, and. These are soft mops, and we're going to use a different compound of, uh, this is a red compound, softer, and these are softer blocks, those are for take, putting the shine in it. One outer is a little bit rougher, this one is a little bit softer. So, start here on the outside and go in, Just like that. Okay, and as you see now, this is stage two, almost done. It, 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 it looks like a long time, but it really isn't. It's about uh, five to ten minutes per part, so um, I'm going to take a little bit of... Uh, this is S100, which I use is for uh, aluminium, chrome, and Schwarzer Teile, which is German. And it's a soft grinding paste. Just put a little bit on there, rub it out. You're gonna go like, oh my God, it's going black. But don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. There's more of this slurry. Then you take a cloth <coughs> and rub them most out. And if you do it well, let me show you here, it's also going to get all the burrs and all the little creases in your project. So, as long as you keep rubbing it, and it looks like shit right about now, but if you wait a few minutes you can see you can just work it in in a turning motion or in a whatever kind of motion you want this is good for your arm this but uh, you see a lot of people using uh, old uh, old grinding uh, um, wheels for this like just like I've got on my machine right about here and as long as you do that, you gotta watch out that you not burn the uh, S100 paste. And look at that, it's shiny, it's almost new. See that? Amazing, isn't it? And that is how you polish your aluminum parts. 
Hope you have, hope you had something about it. And um, anybody in Holland who wants to be part, who wants to be, keep his parts polished, you can find me. But uh, if it's uh, good with the price, I'll do it. But rest polishing your nuts in a few lessons. Bye bye. And here is the finished product. It's nice, shiny. I'm gonna lacquer it, but it's just a little bit of fingerprints all over it. But it'll be okay. So, uh, hope you had something from it. Um, I hope you learned something. Questions, mail them, and we'll figure, figure something out. Right? Ta! -da!